How's it going guys? Angus here from Makers Muse and in this video we are doing another Kickstarter 3D printing campaign and this is one that is a little bit overdue. They've got 11 days left to go and have raised $350,000. It is none other than the Polymaker Polysmooth and Polisher 3D printing campaign. So this is 3D printing filament that you can safely smooth on your desk. Pretty neat. Let's get going. Welcome back guys. So as I said, this is the Polysmooth Polisher. So for those who have been familiar with the Makers Muse channel for some time, one of my very early videos, actually the second one I ever put up, was a method to vapor smooth ABS prints using acetone and a rice cooker. Now. You can still do this, I do it quite often, but it's certainly not the safest method to smooth ABS prints, to smooth your 3D prints. But why would you want to smooth your prints? Well, let's face it, layer lines look pretty bad. And if you want your part to look more like an injection molded part, using vapors to smooth the outside and wick all those together can actually give that, give that look, give your part a nice glossy finish and actually improves the strength, sometimes up to four times as strong because those layers are kind of like, you know, sort of like a wood grain. So by wicking those layers together, you make a strong, cons consistent skin on your part and it makes it tougher. But as I said, acetone isn't the nicest solvent in the shed. I mean, it's not the most dangerous, but it certainly is pretty flammable and heating it up isn't the best idea. So it's one of those things where, although it's possible, I certainly don't recommend it. And it's been several years where people have been asking me for alternatives. So that brings us to this Kickstarter campaign, the, the Polymaker Polisher. And the whole idea behind it is it's a desktop unit where you vapor smooth your parts to make them look better, to make them look more like injection model parts. But the parts you put in are not ABS plastic. They are not PLA plastic. They are something that they're calling Polysmooth, and this is actually something quite interesting because some of the the news articles, the news outlets on the internet that have been picking up this campaign, kind of don't understand that. And it's quite funny. For example, here on Geeky Gadgets, it's saying that you know here we can remove unsightly layer marks with you know filament extruding presses with materials such as ABS and the more environmentally friendly PLA. No, actually, that's kind of incorrect. The Polymaker campaign uses a new material called PVB. The reasoning behind it, and just, just to go down and look at some of these pictures, I mean, yeah, the finishing looks pretty nice. You know, yeah, yeah, marketing, blah, blah, blah. But that, yeah, it looks like an effect you'd get if you acetone smooth something, acetone smooth an ABS part. But the reason they've gone with this new material, this PVB, is actually pretty clever. It's because you can do this smoothing process using ethanol, alcohol, booze, and it smooths this plastic, which is kind of amazing. So I did a little bit of research into it, and this PVB appears to be a material called polyvinyl butyrol, or however you pronounce it. I'm quite familiar with PVC, polyvinyl chloride, but I am not very familiar with this one. And it's quite interesting. I read through the properties, looks quite tough, quite common in industry. But then I did a bit of research into what solvents will affect it and what solvents will dissolve this plastic. Found this crazy uh, paper from the Association of Metallurgical Engineers of Serbia <laughs> doing some crazy stuff with carbon nanotubes. But it indicates in this, this paper, this research paper, that they are using carbon nanotubes with a polyvinyl butyrol ethanol solution, which indicates to me that this is indeed the right plastic, that you can dissolve it in ethanol. Anyway, going off track. So, okay, Angus, you're probably saying that's well and good. You know, they've got this unit and you can dissolve the outside of your parts with alcohol. That's great. But, you know, don't, you still don't want to heat up your know, alcohol. It can still catch fire. Sure, fair point. So what they've gone into in this thing is the next stage of what I thought would make this you'd need to do to make this whole process safer. They're not heating up the ethanol. They're pretty much creating a vapor 
using this nebulizer thingamathing, however they say it, which creates tiny little droplets of the alcohol, which disturb disperses over the part and then melts just the surface of it. Because you obviously don't dip it in alcohol, it's just going to dissolve your entire part. You'll get this cat just sort of dissolving away like it's in some sort of nuclear holocaust. So that's, te that's the technology. And from a kind of product design standpoint, it seems like, yeah, it's actually quite viable. And the thing about Polymaker is this isn't their first campaign. They've done one in 2014 when they launched a range of new materials, you know. I've got here, this is Polymaker PC Plus, one of their new uh, polycarbonate materials. Review on that coming soon. I've got, you know, a Polyflex. I've got Polymax. They've made all these materials that are commonly used in the 3D printing market today. So in terms of a reputable company, it's pretty much a no-brainer. Polymaker knows what they're doing. But like any other campaign, there is risks. And, you know, looking more into the, the item itself, how it works, it's, yeah, this is a good des description of how it works. So the little droplets of alcohol wick into the surface, dissolve it slightly you're still creating a fuel-air mixture. So, you know, anyone involved in engines, that sort of thing, I'm certainly not a rev head, but a fuel-air mixture with a flammable liquid is basically set up for an explosion. Um, so, you know, that's how your, you know, your engine works. You can't just flood it with petrol and expect it to catch and explode. It needs the right amount of, you know, petrol mixed with air. So, I feel in terms of risks for the Polymaker guys, some governments may feel that this product is a little bit worrisome. In terms of a commercial product designed to create droplets of alcohol in an enclosed space, there's no heat source as I said, but it's still something that I think some people may be a little bit worried about. Ethanol is really not, <laughs> definitely not one of the worst ones, but you know, if anyone's had a flaming cocktail, it can catch fire. So that's just something to think about. But in terms of the actual product itself, I think this is going to be a really hot seller. And the campaign, as I said, they've got $350,000 already backed, or sorry, already pledged. One thing I would have liked to see, but I can understand why I didn't do it. What I would have liked to see is the ability to buy a roll of the PolySmooth filament without buying the polisher polishing unit. I can understand why they've combined the two because I don't want people to try to DIY a solution, obviously for safety considerations, which I'm sure will happen in future once they start selling the, the materials by itself. But to get into this campaign, you kind of had to go in at the ground level of $200 to get anything worthwhile out of it. And then, you know, now all the early birds have gone, you know, you're looking at 250 plus the plus the shipping, I assume. So the rolls are 750 grams. That's quite common nowadays for specialty materials. Nothing too unusual there. I do, however, have to mention, guys, that this is still a Kickstarter crowdfunding campaign. So as much as, as I have huge respect for Polymaker, you need to keep in mind that this is not a pre-order service. You are pledging to come along the journey to develop this product, and it may not succeed. There is no guarantees that this will end up in your hands. So you have to keep in mind that as much as I think it's a great idea, and I really would like to see how they go with this, you have to keep in mind that if, if you're a bit tight on money, if that's $200 that you can't, afford to, you can't afford to lose, maybe you have to think a little bit harder about pledging for this campaign. And that's just the way Kickstarters go. I recently commented on how the Peachy printer went. You know, that was just shocking. I don't think that's gonna happen from Polymaker, but you can't predict the future. That pretty much sums up my you know, my look on the Polysmooth and the Polisha, Polisha, <laughs> clever, clever words, Kickstarter campaign. So I'm really interested to see how Polymaker goes with this. They've really nailed a nice user interface with a dial that sets a timer. It has LED color changing lights in it, which I think is completely pointless, but everything has color changing lights in, the, in it these days. Your mice, your keyboards, why not your polisher unit? So in terms of the industrial design unit, it looks really nice. It's very sleek. And I think the technology is sound. I just hope they don't run into any issues 
when they go to the stage where they're exporting it into different countries. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video here on Makers Muse looking at the Kickstarter campaign of the Polysmooth and Polisher uh, Polishing Unit. If this is your first time on Makers Muse, please feel free to subscribe. It helps me out a lot. I look at Kickstarter campaigns quite a lot, but I also do heaps of 3D printing reviews where I actually have the hardware unit, as well as tons of 3D printing tips, tricks, tutorials, CAD tutorials, all of that, it's my boat. I love doing it and I'd love to have you jump on board. I also have a Patreon, which also helps support me being able to do this as a full-time job. And in terms of supporting the channel, it's completely optional. But if you feel you want to jump on board, I'd really appreciate it. You might be able to help me fix, you know, fix my computer fans, which are very noisy and I need to replace them with some Noctuas or something. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you again very shortly here on Maker's Muse. Bye.